This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. How are we good folks, man? All I do is keep telling you about our guns. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Mmm, dinner. Alright, uh, ooh, wind chimes. Used to have these on the front porch of my house growing up. Oh, yeah. Hope the noise doesn't attract any unwanted guests. Irrelevancies for the win. Now, let's not use the door yet. Let's go fix that swing. Then we'll check out the door. Alright, come on, Lee. We can do this. You and me? Yeah. Come on, click it. Click it. Click it or tick it. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Okay, swing is good. Can we ride it? All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Oh, come on, someone give me a damn push. The fuck is wrong with you? I know I killed somebody and killed some zombies and killed some more people, but... Come on, just give me a push. I won't put my gun on you, I promise. Well, maybe. We'll see. Alright, let's go talk to Mama. She ran back in the house awfully quick. Sup, Mama? Can I have some food now? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Give you some damn can food. Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Oh, come on. I want some food. Place looks amazing. How many rooms in this house? Uh, yeah. When will dinner be ready? When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Uh. Yeah, how many rooms? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Hmm. Well, she's suspicious of us for some reason. I don't think we've done a damn thing to attract her suspicion. Andy, I could understand, so we told him about, you know, guns and shooty things, but not her. All right. All right. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Can't check the barn yet. The generators might be a problem. Barn. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Generators. Generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor. Damn it, end. Lee! I'll no, it's not. Around. The motor in right, is better. Keep me posted. Fucking hell, Lee! The motor in is better. Repeat after me. The motor in is better. The motor in is better. The motor in is better. Oh my God, Lee! All right. Hi. Let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, 
Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. No bueno. No bueno. Ah, creepy haystack. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, alright? Uh, 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 he's a piece that of shit. He's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Uh,. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Useless without gas, fortress needs people, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. They're delaying the inevitable. We can take this place. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. Uh, um, is that all I can do? Okay. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ, I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Uh, yeah, I barely even know who you are, douchebag. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Yeah, I didn't eat either. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Uh, little help here, Lee? Hmm, let's just look. If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Um, um. Oh, oh. Come on, Lee, we don't oh. have all day. Working on this fence is so tiring, Mark. Oh, it's nice to see you on the other side of the fence, though. Maybe I can pull it up over here and just leave him over there. No? Oh, I have to go for this. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. We had an agreement. Now uh. you're fucked. Hey, hide uh. the back up. Hmm. Uh. Already got right here. See ya. Hmm. Hmm. Over there. You didn't deliver the goods. No fuel. Of course. Mm. Stop shooting! 
quickly. He'll see you. <laughs> Show yourself! Get out of here and finish Link, me like a man! Get back here! Let's see if we can taunt him. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? What about our arrangements? Show yourself! What else can we say? We don't know you, asshole! We're not the St. John's! Maybe they'll stop shooting. Hey, let's talk this out! <laughs> leave us the fuck alone! Damn right, leave us alone, bitch. We're not your enemy! One more try. We don't need you in the heart, oh, goddammit! Alright, nah, no, not gonna work. Okay, uh, no, we need to pull this out. And then we can let the tractor roll. Come on. We can, yeah, the gate. we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, if you go a little too slow or a little too fast, you'll get shot. So, yeah. Just gotta stay by the tractor. Oh. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. Okay, let's move it. Damn, the you strong. Strong. Where do you think you're going? You got lucky that time. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? You asshole. Clean it up the floor. Clean it up the floor. Oh, he's not dead. No. 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 Kick him! Kick him! Oh god, no! Kick him! Oh, oh shit, that's scary! Kick him! Oh, kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, oh! Ew! Gross! Ew! Disgusting! You okay? Yeah. Barely. Oh, man. Oh, look at this guy, he's right behind us! <laughs> uh, this moves pretty good for a guy with no legs. Oh, right in the eye. Let's get out of here. Damn right, they're getting away. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that fucker turned on the fence. Lee, what's wrong? There's a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. Damn right I right about this place. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. Sons you know where bitches. these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. 
You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. No, don't do that. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can head to that barn now. Dum de dum de dum, don't mind me going to the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I open the door. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. That is a hand symbol, not an eyeball symbol. Hand means open door. Use barn door. It even says use barn door. Don't hump it, just use the barn door. If there's not oh enough room in God, the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. You told Mark you were going to check this place out, the barn. You told him you were going to check it out as soon as we finished walking the perimeter. We've walked the perimeter, you got shot, and now it's time to check out the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh, for fuck's sake, Lee, you're hopeless. Hopeless. What's with the hay? Lots of hay. Mmm, hay. Look Enough at the kids playing with the swing. Is adequate cover from arrows, if that becomes a problem. Cover from arrows. And apparently there's an invisible, invisible wall. <gasps> oh, dun dun dun. Oh, it's actually a fence that you can't see until you zoom out. Okay. What about this thing? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Okay. Hey, what's up, folks? Larry's smiling. Can't interact with him at all. Lily, what's going on, girl? I know you're a crazy bitch, but let's talk. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I said not to come here, bitch. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? About your dad? Exit. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? You're a good leader. Kenny believes there's still hope. I don't know. No, Kenny. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Yeah, you're useless. God damn, is she useless. <laughs> okay, back through the gates. Since we still can't figure out how to use a barn door. Uh, yeah, look at the generator. That keeps a fence electrified. Yes, it does. Can I kick it? No, I can't kick it. Nothing else over here. Just trying to see if there's anything left to do before we go... Uh... Oh, let's talk to the kids on the swing. Yeah. Let's get in the way. Oh, we can't get in the way. It just stops us walking in the way. Talk to Kenny. What's up, Kenny? Oh, we have to go all the way around. That's nice. Hey. Haley, found anything interesting? 
I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? Lily doesn't want to be here. Your family made it here okay? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. Oh, come on, Kenny. The motel was nice. Uh, how you holding up? How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. What the They've fuck is wrong here. with you, Kenny? Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Kenny, I gave you some beef jerky. It looked like a turd, but it wasn't a turd. It was a beef jerky. It might have even tasted like a turd. I have no idea how long it was in Lily's backpack. But you ate it. And I didn't eat a goddamn thing, and you're bitching about food. Shut the fuck up, Kenny. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. Yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Kenny really is a, a fucking dickhole. I mean, he starts out nice, but then he turns into an absolute jerk. And the first time I played through... That really influenced the way I interacted with him and his family. Or he and his family, whatever. Uh, so I chose to kind of distance myself from Kenny the first time I played through. But this time around, I'm going to be Kenny's best buddy. We're going to be all high-fiving all game long. Hell yeah, let's talk to Clementine. Sup, girl? Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Maybe later. Maybe later, okay? Oh, 